The structure of the economy in the UK has changed significantly. In the 1800s, we had an economy based around primary industries, whereas today we have an economy dominated by tertiary industries. We need to understand how and why this happened. For many years, the UK economy has experienced deindustrialization, which is the decline of secondary manufacturing industries. At the same time, tertiary and quaternary employment numbers grew. This happened for a number of reasons. People have been replaced by technology and machines, like in car manufacturing. Countries such as China and Indonesia can produce much cheaper goods due to lower labour costs, while the lack of investment, higher labour costs and old machinery made UK products expensive by comparison. Traditional primary and secondary industries in the UK, like coal mining and manufacturing, have declined, whilst tertiary and quaternary industries, like financial services and research, have developed. Globalisation is where businesses develop international influence and will start to operate on an international scale. And this has been made possible through the development of transport and communications like the internet. Globalisation has helped with the rapid development of the quaternary sector. Many firms in the UK now work on global brands, whilst it has boosted world trade and the increased proportion of products to the UK. This has led to the decline of manufacturing in the UK. Government policies have also contributed to changes in the UK economy. Between 1945 and 1979, a great deal of money was spent by the government in propping up many of the declining industries. Too many employees, old equipment and outdated working practices meant that many industries were unprofitable, with the 1970s being a decade of strikes, factory closures and power cuts. Between 1979 and 2010, many state-run industries, like British Rail, were sold off to private shareholders, a process called privatisation. The UK's derelict industrial landscape started to transform into modern financial centres with modern retail outlets and new office buildings. From 2010 onwards, the government aimed to rebalance the economy by trying to rebuild the manufacturing sector, whilst trying to rely less on service industries such as the financial sector. Improvements to transport, helping small businesses get easier access to loans, encouraging investment in manufacturing and helping global firms to locate in the UK were all attempted to help the economy become more balanced and ultimately grow. The UK economy has changed significantly over the years and will continue to evolve into the future. Thank you.